First, though, tragic, but not criminal. Why a judge threw out the case against the engineer behind the deadly Amtrak derailment and what happens next. The judge's decision caught many of the victims off guard. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. The 2015 crash killed eight people and injured dozens. But today, a judge ruled that it was more likely than not an accident. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff is at 30th Street Station tonight with a reaction to the judge's decision. Alex? Well, Yuki, on the stand today, a Philadelphia police officer described that Amtrak crash scene as train cars crushed like tin cans and body parts strewn across the wreckage. Gruesome and devastating, of course. Criminal, no, according to a judge. It was a case first dismissed by the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office, then picked up by the Pennsylvania Attorney General hours before the statute of limitations was set to expire, charging Brandon Boston, train 188 engineer, with criminal negligence, charges that a municipal court judge has now dismissed. He's not going to make any statements today. Thank you. May 12th, 2015, Boston suddenly propelled Amtrak train 188 to 106 miles an hour into a set of curves capable of handling a speed of half that. The train tore off the tracks in the area of Port Richmond. Eight people were killed, dozens more gravely injured. Disappointed would be an understatement. With Blair Berman, an injured crash victim at his side, attorney Tom Klein expressed shock over the ruling. Brandon Bastian's only job was to get people from one point to the other safely. He didn't even need to steer the train. Beside Boston, attorney Brian McMonigle spoke with gratitude. These charges should have never been brought. This was never a crime. This was an accident. The NTSB had previously determined Boston's error at the train's helm, a loss of, quote, situational awareness, a phrase the deputy for the Pennsylvania Attorney General's office called, quote, junk science. They have the option to refile the charges if they so choose. All right, well, get this. Attorney Tom Klein told me that almost all of these civil suits have been settled with Amtrak, all but one, which belongs to Brandon Bastian himself, suing Amtrak, apparently, for injuries he sustained in that crash. Reporting live from 30th Street Station, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alex, thank you.